Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Mana Cave. My name is Ed. My name is Travis. And I realize those of you who might have watched the, the previous episode, the one that came out before this one, uh, which would be the previous episode, uh, it is me. I'm wearing glasses. See, it's me. Uh, I don't normally wear glasses, and these are filthy as well, too. Uh, but I'm I'm wearing them on the Mana Cave right now. So I, I always wear mine. I, I always worry about the whole Clark Kent scenario where people are like, he says he's Ed, but it yeah. doesn't look like him because he's got clear glass over, over his eyes. So, but it is me. And today we are we are putting an end an end to the one v one. Uh, 2017 pre-constructed commander deck showdowns. This is the loser bracket. This it's is on brain pulp. You keep saying like we're never playing commander again. Yes, on on Please, brain pulp. Dude. We are playing uh, outside of this. We're playing commander, and we may use these decks for a uh, a four player commander. Maybe just before the 2018 decks are going to come out or something like that. We'll yeah. we'll get together, uh, get uh, Steve and maybe Jay, our friend Jay, who you guys have not seen on camera yet, to play a, a four four uh, v one v one v one v one. Commit whatever. Anyways, uh, so that may be happening, but this is a loser's bracket. We are playing dragons versus wizards. Yes, I I know very little of this deck. I've seen it played once or twice. I've seen it played on other uh, YouTube channels as well. Uh, but I, I looked at some of the cards as I was drawing them, as you should do when yeah. you're drawing cards. <laughs> and I'm like, huh, a lot of words in that one. You're pretty wordy too. <laughs> you just you're a basic land. I like you. So I, if I make misplays. More than usual. Uh, just, you know, go with it, you know? I just uh, get in the feeling of being a, a noob. And, and as well... And I, I'm generally a Timmy, too. I you think. would probably feel more comfortable playing the dragon deck. Yeah. We sort of discussed it before, and typically the wizard deck uh, would be the one that I would sort of lean towards, because I like, I like a lot... Blue or heavy decks. Yeah. Um, I even got my... Nope shirt on, which probably could have covering changed, up, but... but we all know how comfortable brand new shirts are. Yes. Oh, by the way, we don't always wear the same clothes for weeks on end. It's yeah. just that we record several episodes of the Mana Cave. I'm a pretty busy back. person. Yeah. So, so. so. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lot of Nancy Drew, apparently. So in the bathtub. In the bathtub. Go back to the previous episode. You'll. It was funny. You'll, even then, you'll still won't understand what we're talking about. Um, the gist of it. But. I decided to play the dragon deck, or we sort of decided that I would play the dragon deck because I, I, you've embraced it. Yeah, you really for for it being a, a more of a creature heavy kind of deck. You have more embraced it than you would have. I thought this would have been up your alley because wizards. Yeah. I would naturally assume would be a lot more spells kind of thing. And it could yeah, be. Yeah, it's it's it could be. It's a weird deck, and I'm also not like if we were if we were to go back and sort of change things, I would not use that as the, even though eminence I think is a great ability. I would not choose that as my commander for that deck. I don't think that's the strongest card in that and deck as far as a commander goes. I've seen, uh, we'll get to the ability, but I've, I, her, her, yeah, and all, yes. Uh, I've seen other people frustrated, uh, you as well, I think, with the ability where it's like, it costs a lot and you have to think about, is it going to work? And sometimes you can't copy a legendary creature because, yeah, poof, they go kind of thing. I've had more issues. Well, actually, why don't you read her off and then yeah, we'll discuss why we don't like her. Why we don't like her. Yeah, it's not, it's not random. We don't dislike her <laughs> randomly. Uh, Inala, Archmage Ritualist, uh, for five mana, Grixis, black, red, and blue, and two of any color. The legendary creature, Human Wizard with Eminence. Whenever another non-token wizard enters the battlefield under your control, if Anala Archmage Ritualist is in the command zone or on the battlefield, you may pay just one colorless mana, or one of any color. Uh, if you do, create a token that's a copy of that wizard. That token gains haste, and is at the beginning of the next end step. Tap. Five, there's another ability, just tap five untapped wizards you control, target player loses seven life. Which I've never been able to do the entire time, all the times I've played it. Uh, I just want to check something here. Uh, okay, yes, whenever another non-token wizard, so it's not even like another non-token creature, has to be a wizard. Wizard, yeah. For whatever reason, I, again, not my deck, I didn't know that, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, which is how... typical, because these ones all, like, it, dragons, Eminence yeah. only deals with dragons, and so on and so forth. Now, here's the issues I've run into this, because um, it gives the wizard, the other wizard haste, which is which is fine, yeah. but if it's legendary and there are a few more than a few legendary wizards in this deck, this deck, y yes, your deck. Sorry, not my deck. I'm so used you have to any legendary blue, right? wizards in there. Um, it, it'll the legendary rule will, will come into effect, and even though it's a copy, it's going to destroy one of them. You get to choose, but it's still going to destroy one of them. So you can yeah. either keep your original one, or you can put the other one with haste. And it's just so yeah, I've I've found it makes hard choices. And and you even, don't always want these hard even choices. Even paying just one sometimes will yeah. th will screw things up for you. So whereas everyone else's ability. Is, is generally is free. Generally free. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, the cat one's free. The vampire one is free. The dragon's one is a discount. Um, dragon so, one's nice too. And for its ability, ah, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> it's not. That's not my. We're not tearing it apart. It's not a planeswalker deck. I like the deck. wizard deck, 
I don't like the wizard commander that they chose yeah. for it. Which but you have bizarre. two other options in the kit. Yes. You buy the kit, the yeah. deck you buy. Yeah. So there are options. Uh, why don't you read your big bad boy dragon? Yes, there? we've got the Ur Dragon, which for a whopping four and then the full rainbow of uh, white, blue, black, red, and green. And last time I read this off, I omitted one of the colors for some reason. It is a 10 10 dragon avatar. Got eminence. As long as the Ur Dragon is in the command zone or the battlefield, other dragon spells you cast cost one less to cast. Other dragon spells. Not, it does not affect himself. It's got flying, and whenever one or more dragons you control attacks, draw that many cards, you may, uh, then you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. My experience with this is very rarely um, in games where I've gotten this on the battlefield, unless it's removed like instantly after that, that this doesn't completely turn the tide for me. Yeah. Because you're drawing cards on for and you're putting out free permanents. And it is it just gets nuts. And you're attacking usually with a ten ten flyer. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Exactly, too, right? yeah. So yeah. Something to be said for that. Yeah. You know? Even just as a blocker, it's it's amazing. But yeah, so but it's it's getting it out. That's therein lies the rub, as yeah. they say in uh in in Magic in the Gathering. More elegant circles than our own. Okay. I'm sure they say that. Someone said that. Someone has said that in Magic the Gathering at some point. So we have determined our opening hands. We're both starting off with seven. We are. Uh, we have not determined who's going to go first, but we will do that in just a moment. Um, I like that dragon. I actually, when I first got back into Magic M15 set, it was right into the dragons right away kind of thing I built. And then it happened that right after that came Cons of Tarkir and everything. So it was like, mm -hmm. lots, of, lots of dragons to choose from the standard kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's, Maybe uh, that was their attempt to, to woo back. I don't know if you know Brian Kibler. Um, I don't know Ryan Brian because he's he's sort of known for uh, dragons as being the dragon master. Oh yes, uh, and he since moved on to to do some amazing Hearthstone streams and stuff. But uh, maybe that was their attempt to woo him back. Didn't work, but no. still, we're gonna which, roll. Which is sad for the magic community, in my opinion. Um, sorry. Uh, yes, we're gonna roll to go and see um, who goes first. rolling again with some better. I'm at eight again. I'm at eight. doubles. You would you'd have gotten out of jail with that roll. Damn. Ooh, you edged me out. You edged me out. My speedy deck here. Um, <clears throat> so I oh, would... we're gonna show we're gonna show our opening hands. Yeah, that's, that's a good. Point. Uh, I'm gonna turn to the side and go to the cone of silence, or the cone of the cone of blindness. So there's my opening hand. Uh, I'm unfamiliar with this deck again, but uh, it does seem like I have decent shot of playing some good stuff here. So yeah, you know, that's that. Again. And they're down. They're down. Okay, so this is the opening hand that I decided to keep, and I kept it for. This isn't revealing much to Travis, I guess, but I kept it for um, the mana base start that I would get with it, because being a five-color deck, it's kind of important to uh, to be able to start strong as far as working towards casting anything of any of the five colors. And I'm done, okay. and you get to go first, and I will uh, allow you to do that, because I'm kind like that. Well, the wilds... <laughs> There, it's what a handy card. Interesting beginning. It's I, uh, deja vu for some reason. I don't know why. I'm gonna tap and search for an alley while I pass to you, essentially. Um, a question about your deck. Yes. I don't know every card that's in that deck, but uh, is there a uh, island tapped? Is there an island? Yes, there no, is. No, no. Oh, there, I show up there is. Uh, is there a Hordling dragon in that one? That's the, the artifact gathering dragon. I don't remember. I think so. They should, because there are so many good artifacts. I mean, you got an excuse to play because it it's a dragon. Yeah. It's only a 4-4 four, four flyer for, I think, 5 mana. But you get it basically, when you get it, you, you exile an artifact, you search for an artifact in your deck, you exile it, and when that dragon dies, you put that artifact in your hand. I'll have to check that out and put the answer up on screen, maybe. Because there's an artifact in your deck that lets you cast any spell for one... Yes. So... If, that, the, um, uh, was it Fist of the Suns, I think it is? Which yeah. is one of the ones that, whenever I can get into my hand, I'm super happy about, because... Yeah. You cheat your commander out. Exactly, it, yeah. Cheat it's like for five. Yeah, for yeah. five. Because then you just need to... Any spell you can you want to cast, uh, Fist of the Suns, if that's, if that's the name of the card... Yeah. can cast it for one of each of the colors, which in this deck is not that difficult to do. It's no. actually easier to do sometimes than getting the right mana for other getting like so. 10 or something like that. But I'm going to play Swamp. I'm going to tap this Swamp. It was my turn, right? It was, it was totally your yeah. Deck, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut well, your deck. Well, not... Multitasking, folks. Multitasking. And I'm going to be surprised that your turn one play. Uh, I'm going to cast um, Nahil Spellbomb. Don't know if I pronounced that right. It's an artifact. I can tap it, sacrifice the spell bomb, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. When it is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you may pay one black if you do draw a card. Nice. 
I'm going to set that down below my commander. And you, got, you got the black mana to pay for it. I do. I do. So it's 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 doubly good. And I'm going to pass the turn to you, sir. Right, untap. Draw. Also, we our voices are... It's winter here. It's been a brutal, brutal cold past month. And um, I wrecked my voice a little while ago. So that's why we sound a little bit... Probably, probably sound dead sexy, but still. So sick. I apologize uh, for how sexy we sound right now. It's the least we can do. Uh, I just played a mountain. It's not even full art. Nothing special about it. And I'm going to pass back to you. Ooh. While I read the card that I just drew. That I could have cast. It's definitely an instant sorcery for uh, you know red and blue. So be prepared for that. Uh, Alrighty. I'm going to play a island. And now I'm going to pass the turn to you. Okay. I'll continue reading that card after. There's a lot of text in that one. Dragons can start quite slow. I know you. Um, so I am going to uh, drop a swamp. So I oh, you got your full color range now. Full color range. Okay, uh, I will. Well, it's tough. Let me just. Yeah, I'm tapping three to uh, cast the. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. So one Ooh. blue, one black, one everything. He's a 1-3 with fear, and whenever he deals combat damage to a player, I may draw a card. Yeah. I do not have the mana. Already I'm frustrated by it. Because that's what kind of was affecting my process. Otherwise I could have hit one more, copied him, and attacked right away. Shadow Mage Infiltrator, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, folks, um, is the, was the John Finkel card. Um, because he, when, he won, when they used to do the uh, invitational sort of thing, the, the prize of winning this tournament with a bunch of pro players would be that they then got to design a card, and they would put themselves in the artwork. Now, this is since new artwork for it, but I think that's John Finkel's uh, Wasn't John card. Finkel from, like, uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective? When <laughs> I don't know. He was a kicker who didn't make the kick. <laughs> Finkel's Einhorn. Went to become Einhorn the, is Finkel. Spoiler alert, who went on to become the... Uh, like the, the chief, or not the chief, the lieutenant or something, the captain. Yeah, the, yeah please captain. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, I cannot copy. Different, if it is, it's a different John Finkel. Okay, so. it's a different John Finkel. Yeah. I don't know. John Finkel. Maybe. Is, he's widely considered one of the, the best magic players. In the one time. of the worst kickers. Of, oh, anyhow. Uh, <laughs> in dolphin history, I will pass back to you because my uh, infiltrator does not have haste. Giggity. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, but it does have fear. I don't know if I did mention that. So fear means... This creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or black creatures. Yes. We so, often, we forget to read that sometimes because, um, we, like, typically those, those ones have been around for so long that yeah. we take them for granted, but just in case people didn't know. I'm going to play Mountain. I'm then going to tap for three and bring out Commander's Spear. Uh, I can tap it to add to your mana one mana of any color in your ma uh, Commander's Color Identity, which basically means I can tap it for anything. And then I can also sacrifice it to draw a card. Um, so now I'm, I've got four of the three possible colors, uh, and I'm going to pass it on to you. Okay. You're doing pretty good with your color, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm. What? You're not very helpful. Uh, I will play another swamp. Uh, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to waste <laughs> a card here. Uh, so one... Two, one's blue, and two's anything. You flash out <laughs> during the stage. Uh, my portal mage. Portal mage, I think, would be better in a multiplayer. When portal mage enters the battlefield during the declared attacker step, you may reselect which player or planeswalker target attacking creatures attacking. Not going to really matter because <laughs> I'm not going to. I think there's a single planeswalker in the stack and no players. Uh, however, I do get to tap one to create well, a zombie. It's not really a zombie. <laughs> it's a copy of that. So, uh, with haste. I, I meant to take that, that out of that deck because that de oh, that is like useless against one v one typically, um, other than flashing out a creature. So. Which again I could have, but I chose to just swing in for an early three and draw a card. Yeah, no, so no, no it makes sense. Here. Okay, so I'm taking three. You're taking three. I'm uh, down twenty seven. I'm drawing a card. You are drawing a card because the Shadow Mage Infiltrators is a great card. It is. Uh, that happened. End of combat and everything. My token dies. Or exiled. It exiled. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, so I'm passing to you. I'm going to do something now, which may seem like a waste, but I really don't need it. I'm going to tap this to sacrifice it to exile all the cards in your graveyard. I don't think, I, from what I remember, I don't think that deck is necessarily huge for graveyard stuff. It may be, and I may regret this in the long run. But I'm I also couldn't gonna, tell you. To tell you the truth. <laughs> but I'm also going to pay one black so I can draw a card as well, too. This is on your end step, and oh, that was kind of important. Oh, so my Evolving Wilds is a toast? Yes. Man. You will never get your Evolving Wilds back again. 
Um, and then I'm going to tap everything. The mono green uh, commander deck has a lot of interactions with lands in its graveyard, so there's that. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to play Polluted Delta. Um, I, this is one of the cards I added to this. Ooh, Pay one life, sacrifice spender. Polluted Delta, Ooh. search your library for an island or swamp card, put it under the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I think if you're playing fetch lands, you got to play them like this, like you're just big spender. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to go to the graveyard. I'm going to search for either a uh, island or a swamp, and we're going to do a quick edit and be right back. Okay, and we're back, and I chose a swamp, so that's going to come into the battlefield. Not tapped. And uh, interesting thing, I discovered that this swamp is the only uh, card that I could have actually activated with that that's left, the only basic land. You didn't have a swamp? Uh, this is the only I had a swamp. Oh, pardon me, one swamp left, but I, I, unless I missed it, I didn't have an island either, so that's okay. You have five colors. Yeah. With your... It's okay. Uh, it's fine. No, you don't have green. It's fine. Out. You don't have four. It's fine. Why don't I um, word? I'm going to tap uh, these two for red, and then one, two, three, and the minus one discount from the Ur Dragon to bring out Hellkate. 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 Hey, Kate. Uh, Hellkite Charger. It is a 5-5 five, five flying dragon with haste, and whenever it attacks, I may pay 5 and 2 red. If I do untap all attacking creatures after this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Now, I have the choice, because it does have haste, to either swing in, you do have a flying blocker, hmm? um, or I can keep it up. How do I have a flying blocker? Uh, because, oh, it's Flash not flying. I saw the F in the... He's a wizard. Like, you wouldn't I mean, think I was wearing glasses right now. Um, he's magical, but he ain't got flying. He ain't got no flying. I almost spilled my whole <laughs> hand of cards there. Um, you know what? I'm going to, uh... Because this has got fear, so I can't block it with this anyways. I'm going to be aggressive. Be -e aggressive and swing it. Okay, well, I can't block with a flash creature, so I'm taking five. <laughs> You're taking five, not sir. Not too shabby. Um, and sadly, that's that's that because it's not on the battlefield. If it's on the battlefield, I could get draw a card and then put a permanent, but that doesn't happen. So pass the turn to you. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of things could happen if <laughs> I had a ten ten on the flyer on the battlefield too. You know, I mean, oh, that would be goodness. pretty cool if you ask me. That'd be awesome. Oh, let's see here. Take your time. Tap in two. Okay. To go for the throat. Destroy target non-artifact creature. Now, again, why waste an instant like that? But you're tapped out. It's a big bad threat. It does something on attack. It's probably just... I, no, I understand why you did that. Of course. Of course. So I went for the throat. Destroy target non-artifact creature. Two mana. Uh, I'm going to go to attacks. You're going to go to attacks. Yep. I'm going to take three, and you're going to get to draw a card, right? Yep. That's going to be one of the deciding things, I think. What do you do? Because right oh, now you missed a land drop. I well, haven't done stuff yet. Calm I know, down. but what I'm saying is it missed the land drop, but okay. because he gets to keep drawing cards. I will play Rakdos Okay. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it enters tapped, and I return a land I control to my owner's hand. Uh, okay. When I tap it, I tap it for two, though. So yes. next turn, I'm going to try to Look out, swamp. folks. Um, I drew a card I'm going to read while I pass the turn to you. <laughs> okay. What do you do now, sir? I know what I hope this is. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm very... Wow, this is <laughs> this is awful. Um, let me just read this. Is it better than my slash again. one that did nothing? This, no, this is this is this is this is bad. Um, okay, so it's not quite as bad as I thought, but it's still not the greatest thing to to have drawn. I'm going to play an island, tap two red, and then four more, and get the one discount, and bring out Tyrant's Familiar. It's got flying and haste, and as long as you control your commander, Tyrant's Familiar gets plus two, plus two, and has whenever Tyrant's Familiar attacks, it deals seven damage to target creature defending player controls. Jesus. So, but I'm still one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm still yeah, three off from being able to cast my five, commander. You're still dropping five flyers with haste, which I'm not appreciating. Thank you. The very haste much. is the haste is the haste is the place. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna move to combat. Yeah. And I'm gonna swing in because I still want to be in this race. <laughs> You're winning this race, sir, I know, by two I know. huge chunks. I'm down to 20. But part of me want, but once again, I would probably keep one of these up if any of them could, could block um, uh, the Shadow Mage. But um, because that card draw that scares me, oddly enough. And I'm going to pass the turn now to you, sir. Come on, removal. You're not removal. Out of the combat zone? Yeah. Um. 
you have reach? No, no. Uh, I'm gonna play swamp. I am. No, wait. I'll hold off on that swamp. Okay. He's got a swamp, which we knew anyways, because you yeah. bounced that back to your hand. So it's not really yeah. you're not giving me any information I didn't know. Um, so we're gonna go to combat. <laughs> we're gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack for three. Okay, I'm gonna take three unless you have any sort of shenanigans. At this point, no shenanigans. Okay, and then you get to draw a card. Draw now a card. it's whenever you do this damage or whenever you attack. Does damage. Okay, yeah. All right, All right. Who are you? What do you do? <laughs> Who asked you? Okay. Um so, okay, uh, I will, blah, blah, is what I will do. Uh, tapping this for two, three, four, actually, pardon me, I do need to. I was going to be some tricky about things, but no, I do need to play. That. I was going to say, I'm surprised you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Oh, shoot. To play a card called, a card, card called Spell Twine. Exile target instant or social card from my graveyard and target instant social card from opponent's graveyard. Copy those cards, cast the copies without paying their mana abilities. Exile Spain. Spell twine. Do you even have an instant or no, sorcery? No, I do not. No. So for six mana, I'm getting a copy, go for the throat. <laughs> to destroy at not instant speed, wouldn't it be nice to destroy a 5 5 flying haste creature? No, that. Uh, this gets exiled as well. What happens? Exile, and they're both exiled. My gra graveyard is empty. My board is. Wow, these. Dragons I keep putting out keep on getting yeah. smacked down. Well, we're tied at 20. We're tied 20. at 20. My turn? I tapped out there. Uh, righty then. Well, I'm going to... <laughs> no, don't play another 5-5 five, five <laughs> flyer with haste. Step two red. Um, and a swamp. And I'm going to cast... Because oh. of the discount, Territorial Hellkite. Now, it's a 6-5... It's a flyer with haste! <laughs> <laughs> flying with haste. But this is the card I was reading before. At the beginning of your combat turn, choose an opponent at random that ter uh, Territorial Hellkite didn't attack during your last combat. Uh, Hellkite attacks that player of this combat if able. If you can't choose an opponent this way, tap Territorial Hellkite. Which means, every second combat phase... I'm going to have to tap this before I can attack with it. I can attack with it this turn. Yeah, but well, I you sure can, because he has yeah. haste. But it also means that if I hold it up for a blocker, I'm just going to have to tap it. No, I can't. No, because then I wouldn't have attacked you. That's right. Okay, so anyways, I am going to go ahead and swing in and attack you. Stop! Just stop <laughs> with your massive haste. So this is for six. This is, this is for six. This Down to 14. This threw me because I was like, oh, sh you know, shoot. Uh, I... I didn't know if I could, anyways, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap two to bring out Lightning Greaves. Uh, equipped creature has haste and shroud, and for zero, it's, it's, it's equip cost of zero. I'm going to equip it to this because I, shroud means um, it can't be the target of spells or abilities. Both mine and yours, yes. but most importantly yours. So um, I'm now going to pass the turn to you, sir. Ugh. Once again, it kind of it's my clock with a six power in the air. Good lord. <laughs> what do you even do? You are what as useless. What do you even do? You are as useless as you. <laughs> Both of you things are useless. Uh, well, at least I can do that. I'm oh, sorry. Untap my guys. Go to combat. Yes. Attack with them both. For three, no augmentation. No, no I'm okay. drawing cards. So I, I didn't care about the three damage. Okay, so I'm down to 17. Now, what do you do? <laughs> I do admit the wizard deck has some really wordy cards. I mean, like, a lot of these commander decks obviously have a lot of wordy cards, but the, the wizard's deck was nuts. There's like a page of a novel every single time you draw a card. Figuring out what man did tap for it should not be the most difficult part of it, but... Well, when you only have one blue source, it's <laughs> difficult enough. Okay. Uh, one, six, six, six. Okay, so the tapping two for the... Uh, oh, Merchant of Secrets. Merchant of Secrets. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, draw a card. You and your card draw. So I'm going to draw a card. Oh, when do I got to do his thing? Right, right at the top of the bat? Um, yeah, like right, right when he enters the battlefield. So okay. one... 
Oh, well, I could have given him haste, but he's a 1-1, one, one, so I would kill me. And it's post-combat uh, so draw... as well, too. So you get to draw two. No, I'm saying if I'd done it before. Yeah. No, I got but you. One, one. But draw two cards. Um, That's one of the good things about that that commander's ability, especially when it, there's enter the battlefield effects like that. It's yeah. been very useful for me in the past. It's like but... one good thing. <laughs> Apparently, I got a lot of cards in my hand. I'm going to have to discard. Are you going to have to discard? Yay. Yeah. Well, I, I can play a land. And maybe... I've got three cards left in my hand. Uh, so what I will play for the sheer blue of it... No, you know what? <laughs> Something's entering tapped. It might as well be the Crumbling Necropolis. Uh, enters tapped, I can tap it for blue, black, or red. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go to my end step here. I'm going to have to exile that, and I'm going to have to discard one card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, got to discard one card. Of all these many, many not great cards, um, which one do I... <clears throat> Vivid Marsh. Vivid Marsh, get out of here. Give it out. Okay. Uh, Vivid Marsh is one of the ones where enter with charge counters, you can tap it for a charge counter. I got you. It's gone. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it did, because it's in the garbage. Okay. So I'm going to untap. Yeah. I'm going to put Hellkite on top, because we do have to trigger his ability. Tap for a red and a green. And then... Three more. Because with a discount, I'm going to cast the Savage Ventmall. It is a 4-4 four, four flyer, and when uh, it attacks, I can add three red and three green to my mana pool till the end of turn. This mana doesn't empty from your mana pool as steps uh, and phases end. He's a fun dragon. So I'm going to then, for zero, equip Lightning Greaves onto him to give him Haste and Shroud. Uh, and then we're going to move to the combat phase. Now, as per Territorial Hellkite, um, if you can't choose an opponent this way, at the beginning of your combat on your turn, choose an opponent at random that Terito Hellkite didn't attack during your last combat. There is no such target, so I'm going to have to tap him instead of attacking with him. Yeah. But I can still attack with my 4-4 four, four Savage Ventmaw. So I'm going to move to combat. Move to combat. I'm going to swing in. I get 3 red and 3 green to my mana pool. Uh, You're so going to take 4. 10. And you have a lot of mana. And I'm going to use four of this, <clears throat> including one red, to cast an enchantment, Crucible of Fire. Dragon creatures you control get plus three, plus three. What? And, um... Yeah, I'm going to now pass the turn to you, sir. I'm sure this deck has... And, the, and then the rest of the mana drains, so... board wipes in this deck, I'm sure. In that one? Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of them. <laughs> there is definitely there's there's some selective ones I know that for sure. What do you do now? What? What? Oh, that's it. <laughs> I'm like that's useless. Oh, that's kind of good. Um, uh, yeah. I will go to combat. Okay. Look out now. So now you're swinging in for four. You, you have all the flyers, so there's no point in leaving a chump up. Okay, so... I will so draw a card, though. That's I'm down to 13. It's been an interesting game. It's basically been, like, each turn we kick each other in the... the fun zone. And then, uh, pass the turn, so... And considering the fact that I'm running dragons and you're running little wizards, you've been pretty much keeping on par with the damage I've been doing, so... Yeah, so that's been happening. <laughs> you're definitely heading the card draw. Yeah. So... Yeah, these things happen to a lot of people. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Um, let me just triple check my math here. What good do you do when you're here? Tap five and tap wizards. That ain't happening. Seven life. Well, I, you know, if I could get you on the battlefield, have a few more wizards. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a flyer, though, right? No, it's not a flyer. flyer no. One might say I have a lack of flyers. Good thing I've killed two flyers <laughs> at 5-5 five, five and haste and everything. That's one of the other things I don't like about her, not to keep harping on her, <laughs> is, is all the other commanders, when they hit the battlefield, there is a significant thing that they do, yeah. right? And not that seven damage is, isn't significant, but I mean, like, it's... I haven't played a land at this turn. Yeah. Uh, so I will... Uh, so one, two, three, four... Uh oh. Five, six... Six. So there's a red and a blue in that, and one, two, three, four, anything. I'm gonna That's try. Seven, you tap for it. Yeah, well, I didn't mean to okay. tap that. No, okay. I, was, I was untapping because that one is, you know, useful. I got you. I can tap for anything. Uh, I'm gonna cast something I've never done before. It is. 
Oh, your Ethereum Horn Sorcerer. Uh, I can tap a red, a blue, and one to return to my hand, but it has Cascade, which I'm not very familiar with. Cascade says, when, when you cast a spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Put the exiled cards at the bottom of your library in random order. Otherwise, it's a 3-6 wizard. Um, so, he is a artifact creature mentor wizard. I can copy that. Now, right? Yes, you can copy that. However, a token that's a copy of that wizard. Okay, so yeah, that, that should no, it? that should be fine. Because as far as I know, in certain cases, when a token doesn't have a converted mana cost, but I think if it's a copy of that one, it should still have share a converted mana cost. So you should be able to cascade twice. If I'm wrong, okay. let us know in the comment section below. But I think this should work out. So, so we'll resolve resolve the casting. first one. So you're looking for anything with um, five or less. That's six. Oh, thank goodness, because that would have been awful to get out there. You want three cards? Yeah. Uh, oh, set them aside in a separate pile, because oh, I right, think right. they're going to go to bottom the bottom of, the of your library. Yeah. Uh, so the next one, that one's a really good draw, guy. Okay. Uh, next one's Commander Sphere, so I play Commander Sphere. Okay. Uh, then I'm resolve the second one. Yeah, the second Cascade. So, uh-oh. Uh, it's an instant for four mana. I may cast target instant or sorcery card from opponent's Graveyard without paying its mana cost. Come on, man. You have a single one in there. I don't have a single one in there, no. Oh, uh, that's, cast, and that's, that's the thing about Cascade, is that you can build decks around it, but occasionally they'll have things that fizzle. I use that in one of my popper decks. I thought that would have uh, destroyed Cascade ability. Blue, black, my command destroyed target creature. Just, it looked like it was going to be a pretty nasty spell. I was worried when I saw it. So. That goes away. That goes in the bottom of my library. Yes. I get to play... Which was Arcanus the Omnipotent. Omnipotent. Yeah. Um, I get to play a land... Um, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Exactly seven cards. Okay. I passed two, and I'm looking at a lot of damage this turn. This okay. might, actually... I think it's lethal. Not to be the, the pooper there, but yeah, that, that's lethal. Ah, oh, before I could even... Oh, I'll explain something a bit. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to move to combat. Yep. I did not attack with Territorial Hellkite, so you are a valid target, so I can now swing in. So he is a 9-8, and this is a 7-7, seven, seven, so I'm swinging in for 16 points of damage. I have no flying blockers. Nothing I can do. That's lethal. There we go. I drew, drew, drew Clone Legion. Oh, man! I was one man off at last turn. Oh, man. So, like, if I could survive one more turn... I could have just... Uh, read it out just for, for the uh, So Clone Legion is two blue and seven. I had eight mana last round. I needed nine. For each creature target player controls, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Now, in all fairness, that probably wouldn't have worked out great for me because you have uh, a target. I couldn't target that, could I? Uh, target player. No, no. I target target you. player. You're yeah. targeting me, yeah. But even if I would attack with both of them, I wouldn't even trade because they're getting plus three, plus three. But it would have been nice to... You know, yeah. It would have well, been nice. I mean, what that would have done is like you and they would have both gained. They both would have both they had haste. They no, no, he would have haste. Oh, each. that's right too. That's correct. Token Savage Man mods only got haste because of the um, yeah because of the lightning greaves. But still, yeah, I mean, it would have been fun to play. And yeah, and it's, it, it was a close game as it was, considering yeah. like well, once again, it was well, one of those slugfests where it's like it's just a race. It's just a race to see who has. And if I had any sort of removal in my graveyard at that point. This would have gone for another round, and then I think I would have been the one facing down lethal. You so there was twice, twice I could have targeted your graveyard. Yeah, for spells that didn't. Twice. That's why I don't run uh, sorcerers and enchantments. I do. I here's the That's thing. That's why I had end hostilities, which I needed two white for, and I had uh, fortune fortunate few, which is a similar sort of board wipe, and once again needed two white for. So those were um, this was in my hand from the very beginning, and this came uh, a lot later, but. I was really hoping for a white source because I wanted to be able to board wipe you, but it worked out anyway. So, so that is the losers bracket, and the dragons came on top. Yeah. <laughs> came on top. That sounds bad. Anyways, the, the dragons yeah. ended up winning. So uh, I'm happy about that because the dragon deck is one of my favorite commander decks now that I own. Yes. It, uh, so I have too many commander decks. Otherwise, that would be. And I keep creating new ones. Uh, that would be tops of my list for picking one up because it just I like big values. And it's it ha it needs. Mana fixing and mana fixing, especially in commander, is not necessarily the cheapest fix you can do. Yeah. But there are 
some very good budget options that you can make that deck a lot better with. Here's one of the things I was thinking of if we do 1v1 Commander again before uh, the 2018 sets come out. Because um, you, you, you have created your own Commander decks, which is something yeah. I haven't done oh, in, good in, in actual practice. I've created a deck list for a Commander deck. I just haven't gotten about the cards because it can get kind of pricey depending on the cards. Yeah. Um, but that's one thing I would like to do. If we do another 1v1 Commander mana cave down the road it's i'm I'm gonna see if maybe we can do one of your custom created decks versus one of my custom created decks yeah sounds good sounds good but in the meantime that puts uh an end to the 2017 1v1 commander series here on the mana cave this is just a one one of not a not a best two out of three but um hope that you guys enjoyed it yeah and um i always enjoy commander yeah it's always been even, even one, even, I, i've decks i gotta read a lot of here's the thing i when the first times we tried 1v1 Commander, I, I said that I did not really enjoy the format. I'm starting to enjoy the format a bit more now that I've taken a bit more time to tweak decks to make them for 1v1. Yeah. And also when I don't have to play the Vampire deck. I, t- I tend to enjoy 1v1 Commander a lot better. Uh, you slaughtered so, the Vampires twice with the cats. I know, but, well, one of them, one of them was because of, of Mana Screw. But the other one was a straight up victory. A straight, straight up, up victory. victory. Um, but yeah, so I, I've, I've been, I've been enjoying 1v1 Commander a bit more. Uh, I may even try it on Magic Online at some point, so. <laughs> Digital <laughs> cards, you clicks, you know, <laughs> F1s, and, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I, I could not. In your gigabytes and RAMs and. Yeah, you don't need a gigabyte of RAM for that game. <laughs> can uh, you play it on Windows or is it DOS based? It looks like it's DOS based. Not to slam on Magic No, I'll Online, slam all over Magic Online. I, I know. You've had way more problems with them than I have. But. I have problems. It's just it's unfun. Yeah. There's magic in like a digital... Well, there's always... You don't, you don't get this. There's the new one. The arenas is going to be coming out. That might yeah, be, that might be a huge... <laughs> Anyways. If I want to play a video game, I'll play a real video game. Not a, you know, card game digitized with fancy things. It does look pretty cool, Arena. Arena does look cool. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember. We're saying where. goodbye now. Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. So uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. Yeah.